This is a quick video on checking a V-series Mechline unloader valve for problems. First thing you're going to want to check is your front shuttle. If you take a 24mm spanner and do this front bolt, when you take it apart you should have a torpedo, a spring and your front end and you want that to be able to move nice and freely when you look at it, you don't want any chunks missing or any wear, and the spring obviously wants to be in one piece. If you pop that back in there, you can reassemble that if it's all okay. Pop a bit of Vaseline around it to help it move freely. Um, if you've got problems with bypass, uh, or the machine not going to bypass when you let go of the trigger, that's a good place to look for problems. Uh, the next thing, you want a flat bladed screwdriver to pop the cap off, like that. A 13mm socket to remove the top nut and then you can unscrew the control knob. Once you've unscrewed the control knob you've got a flat washer and the spring if you remove those you need your 24mm spanner again to undo the stem and with the stem out you want to be checking the base of it for wear. So this is a worn unloader stem. And if you look, there's a big chunk missing out of it. You ideally want it to look like that, with no wear at all, completely smooth. So to check that, obviously that's all you have to do, just unscrew that, check the base. Again, put some Vaseline back on it. Tighten this back up. If this is a new unloader valve you're fitting to a machine, it's worth making sure that the stop screws are set properly, which are these two here. You do that with an 11 mil spanner. If it's a 21 litre 200 bar machine, you set it to 32. And if it's a 15 litre machine, you set it to 34 millimetres from the top. So if you measure down from the top to 32 mil for a 21 litre and 34 for a 15 litre. Obviously then you just put the spring back on, then the top washer, the control knob, and your retaining nut, just do it with a 13mm socket, so the nylock grabs, 